Airplanes are a huge source of pollution, but they don't have to be. Hey everyone, thanks for watching D News Today. I'm Trace. There are a number of ways to improve the efficiency of aircraft. Shape, fuel, engine efficiency, even the material the airplane is made of. One study from 2004 looked at shaping wings more like humpback whale flippers, complete with those weird bumps. It makes them more efficient, creates more lift, and less drag than sleeker shapes. But while the engineers plan the look of new future planes, the more imminent impact is on the environment. Just in the last year, there have been a number of proposed new planes that are more efficient, more sleek, or just plain more. But one thing is clear, current jet fuels are out. The chief technology officer at Boeing told the BBC last year, probably 75% of the research and development dollars we invest in the commercial airplane side goes towards improving our environmental footprint. So it's on people's minds. A single flight from New York to San Francisco or Europe creates two to three tons of greenhouse causing gases. In a year, the average European generates 10 tons of carbon dioxide, but the average American, they're creating 19. A Boeing 747 uses about one gallon of fuel per second, or about five gallons per mile, and there are around 7,000 flights over the US at any given moment, and that is a lot of fuel to replace but it also makes for a huge market. At the end of 2014, the world's first biofuel-powered plane took off in Canada. The biofuel was made using rapeseed oil, though the researchers pointed out it could have come from flax, coconut husks, cooking oil, or just algae. Even though it releases CO2 when burned, biofuel is considered carbon neutral because the plants it's made from absorb CO2 as they grow. Though MIT studies have shown that it might not be quite as green as first thought, it all depends on the crops used and the way they're harvested, so more research is def needed. Other fuels are being explored as well. Manufacturer Airbus is exploring hydrogen fuel cells not for the engines, but for the internal power, replacing the gas turbine engines that currently provide onboard electrical systems. Hydrogen fuel cells could provide enough power for the plane, but also create fresh water, because it's the byproduct of a hydrogen fuel cell, and they could use it right there on board. They're even looking at hydrogen-powered front wheels for emission-free taxiing while still on the ground. Earlier this year, Boeing and NASA launched the Eco Demonstrator, a 757 which doesn't burn a new fuel, but does improve fuel efficiency. The plane's tail is 17% smaller and contains tiny forced air jets, which help stabilize the plane during takeoff and landing, increasing rudder efficiency up to 20%. At speeds airlines fly, a chip in the paint or a misplaced rivet can increase drag, costing fuel and, of course, polluting more and so will bug splatters. So they've developed new insect repellent coatings to reduce the drag costs from insect strikes. Sure, efficiency isn't super sexy, but even a small increase can mean thousands of gallons of fuel saved. Plus, it's better for the environment. The Crazy Town Airplane Award, though, has to go to Solar Impulse for foregoing fuel altogether. The Solar Impulse is flying around the world powered only by light from the sun. Though, at the time of this taping, they're currently trapped in Japan trying to fly from there to Hawaii and wrap this whole shiz up. It's not exactly market ready, but it is a proof of concept. They are proving it! You can do it, Solar Impulse! In the end, airplanes are 20th century technology that's being innovated into the 21st century, and it is slow going, but at least it's going. Petroleum packs a lot of oomph for its weight, which is a key on an airplane. Maybe, like with the automobile industry, different engines are needed for different jobs. Say, hydrogen-powered jet engines to get off the ground, and then hyper-efficient pulse detonation engines or wind generators for cruising. You know, kind of like an airplane hybrid. That, combined with more efficient wings and fuel cells and solar for the electricity, and we'd be well on our way to a super-efficient future plane. So even though the idea of an eco-friendly plane sounds like a pipe dream, there are many people who are trying to make it a reality. Meanwhile though, on the road, Toyota is fueling the future with the new Toyota Mirai, using the most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen. The new Mirai is looking to the future with sustainability in mind. But what do you think? Do you have an idea that maybe could make planes better? Why don't you share it with us down in the comments? Make sure you subscribe for more D News so you can keep coming back and you know getting more of this awesome science. Thanks for watching.